Hi everyone and welcome to my EDU 300 um, first homework assignment just describing the four different strategies um, and alternative ways to use them. So the first strategy, um, the mystery canisters. So this has to do with students learning more about the matters within objects. Um, and an alternative way that you could use this is that you could have multiple different objects of all different shapes and sizes in bags. And then the students without looking has to reach inside the bag and guess what the object is inside of it. Once they have guessed it correctly, then they can turn the bag around and see the vocabulary word of the item that they found in the bag. Um, and it'll be written right on the back and this gives the students a good chance to learn both um, the matter of the object and the vocabulary word and the spelling of it as well. So it is a good balance between the student receiving what the matter of the object is and then also being able to turn it around and see the spelling of it. And then um, the window pans. So an alternative way you could use this strategy, um, it could be used in a math class where you are teaching your students the different types of coins. Um, so you could create the template of the window pan, dividing it up into as many squares as you need used for the different coins that you're going to be teaching them. Um, and then explain one by one with the students um, what each of them are going to be. And then you could label above each of the squares the name and amount of the coin. And this is a great opportunity for the students to learn um, their money and vocabulary words as well. So that's also a really good balance between putting that in a math class while also using this strategy to help the students think a little bit more about seeing it as a visual piece, which could definitely help them as a, just another way to um, grasp that concept of counting and learning their coins. Um, so the third strategy um, is the hardness skill, and in this strategy, it speaks on the differences of weight um, and the matter of them. Um, so for example, like between hard um, and soft items. Um, so it also talks about the different matters of objects just like compared to another. So an alternative way that you could use this could be in a science lesson um, where you have, for example, objects of like Play-Doh or Play-Doh and like a light feather. And so the students would have to themselves label which objects they can, t like, they're able to touch. Um, and then just kind of like, you know, maybe write out like a short description of what they gather from that specific item. So, for instance, with the Play-Doh, they could say, oh, it's really hard. Maybe it's a little bit lighter. But then when they touch the, the feather and they lift the feather up, then they'll realize like, no, this is a lot lighter a lot more lighter than the Play-Doh. So it's a good um, good way to distinguish, have the students distinguish between both of them. It's a good strategy. Um, and then the bag and tag word wall. Um, so an alternative way to approach the strategy in your classroom could be through using it in your literature um, slash reading time with your students. So that specific book that you pick as a teacher for your students, your class to go over for that week, the strategy could be used towards it. Um, where the book of the week could be focused around this specific activity of bag and tag word wall in order to teach your students more of the facts, the connections, um, and the vocabulary words from the book. Um, so you could include the facts and vo vocabulary from this and they could have it set up themselves within the bag and tag word wall. So you could label it out for them in whatever way you would like to that's similar to the bag and tag word wall. Um, or you kind of come up with your own. So even if you wanted to use like um, maybe like little poster boards and put those up as well. Um, and then you could like use some type of different material and have um, like different insights from the book, different facts, different vocabulary words. And then the student could go inside um, of like the little pocket on the poster board and like pick it out and then like it could have like a question on it or something containing to the story um, or a fact and and then they would have to guess it and then they could turn the card around and then the answer would be on the back. So that's also connection between the story and then also the students being able to see the vocabulary words and the spelling of it on the back of the, the, the card with the answer so that they can also grasp that more and more. Um, so those are my four alternative ways for these strategies. Thanks for watching.